That's right, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. Big show. Big show tonight. I'm so excited about this. Keith Richards is my guest tonight. Uh, I am such a huge fan. I went up to Keith backstage and I told him, you are my hero. The Stones are the greatest rock and roll band ever. And I'll never, never forget what Keith told me. He said, <laughs> it was so horrified. Yeah, I love it. I'm so glad Keith is here. Actually, it makes me so happy because uh, it's, it's rained now seven weekends in a row here in New York City. Everything is soaked. Uh, the rain is so bad that today on my way into work, I saw a squirrel rubbing talcum powder on his nuts. <laughs> and and I, I go, that's when it's... Acorns? Well, uh, guys, some big news last night. President Biden gave a national primetime address about what's happening in Israel and Ukraine, and people are saying it's the best speech he's ever given. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, this might have been Biden's best speech since he opened for Lincoln at Gettysburg. <laughs> they... hey! That's right, Biden proved two very important things to the world, that we will stand with our allies and that he can stay awake past 8 p.m. That's, that's, that's it, he did it. That's right. Biden's speech uh, preempted all the network's regular programming, so people tuning in were like, this is the most boring episode of The Golden Bachelor yet. <laughs> Some more news from Washington after losing the speaker vote for the third time this week. The third time in... Yeah. Congressman Jim Jordan is no longer in the running for Speaker of the House. <laughs> hey. Well, he was never in the running. Now he's officially not in the running. Uh, but get this, the temporary speaker, Congressman Patrick McHenry, is around five foot five, okay? And some people notice that he seemed to swap out the speaker's chair to make himself look taller. <laughs> Here's the old chair. You see this? Yeah. Now, this is real. Here's the new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was nice. They also added a set of those dog steps so he can reach the podium. Oh. I thought that was nice. Guys, I read that former President Trump was just fined $5,000 for violating a gag order in his New York civil fraud trial. Even more concerning, Trump was like, I'm ruined! I got some business news. Today, Spirit Airlines canceled dozens of flights to perform a necessary inspection of the planes. So until now, I guess they considered inspections optional? Is that <laughs> necessary? I'm not sure what's more stressful, being on one of the flights that was canceled or one of the flights that wasn't. You're like, wait. <laughs> Honestly, I always thought a spirit inspection was just a guy coming out and kicking the tires like, it's good. <laughs> Flight. Well, listen to this. After an FDA panel found that an ingredient in cold medicines like Mucinex, NyQuil, and Sudafed doesn't actually work, CVS announced that they are pulling some of the medicines from their shelves. Yep, so now Sudafed's entire demographic is people making meth. Oh. <laughs> well, this is going viral. <laughs> Can I get a key to the... Uh, yeah. This is going viral. An uh, international student was applying for colleges in the U.S. and wanted to go to the University of Miami to be near the beach, but she accidentally enrolled in Miami, Ohio. <laughs> Yeah, she also meant to apply to Brown, but now she has a job at UPS. Oh. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a yeah, thank you. And finally, a new study found that sitting in a hot tub for 30 minutes has the same health benefits as going for a run. <laughs> that. That is according to the new head of the CDC, Dr. Tommy Bahama. We have a great show. Give it up for the roof, ladies and gentlemen. Need Diamonds is out now. The new Rolling Stones album is out now. And he is on our show tonight. Uh, last night, I was very, very lucky. I got invited to the uh, to a secret show. Actually, I went to the album. It was the album. What do they call it? 
A re release party. Yeah. I go, great. I'll go to see the album release party, see the, you know, Mick and Ronnie and, and Keith are there. I go, great. I go, are they playing? They go, no, 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 no. No, it's just an album release party. Okay, cool. I go, well, that's fine. I'll, I'll just go. And then I saw you, and you go, you're, you're DJing. Yeah. And you're there, so I go, oh, cool. Go, It'll be fun. I'll see Quest. It'll be fun to go out there. I go in there. It's a tiny club. Tiny. Uh, where was it? Racket? Racket. On, yeah. on 16th Street. I yeah. remember it's it's beautiful club, but small, but there's instruments on stage. Oh. Oh, there's a drum set. Oh. There's guitars. Hey. Uh, there's a microphone. Yeah. I go, oh, I think something's going to go down. All of a sudden, the lights go out. Questlove's not DJ anymore. He's sitting where I'm sitting. I go, dude, what's happening? You're like, oh, yeah, it's about to go down. <laughs> they come out, and it's almost like, shadow, shadow, ball, shoot it. I was like, what? It was unbelievable. I was, uh, honestly, I think, uh, I'm not kidding. I don't want to complain. I think it was too close. Yeah. Do you think we were too close? It, that'll never happen in our lifetime again. I was too close to the stones. Wow. Uh, I, I think it was a little distracting. Like how close? Like Well, like, I say I'm here, right? This is me. Right. And, 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 and he's like, what? He's like, go away, go away, go away. I, 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 go, go, stop, go, move out of the way. Like, he couldn't, I was ruining his mojo. Mick was out doing his thing and, and, and I was just like, I was just like sitting like, I was getting, I was getting a lap dance from Mick Jack. I, was, I don't do that. Yeah. I don't do that, don't but it happened kind of last night. Uh, it was unbelievable, and they came out, and they just showed everybody how you do it, which is like, no tricks, no computers, no anything. Give me a guitar, give me a microphone, I'm gonna show you how to rock out, and they destroyed. Ooh. They were so great, uh, and at the end, I do, they finish, and they, they leave, and you know, I don't know if there's such a thing as encores anymore. Not really, right? You kind of know they're coming out for one more, they have to, right? If the lights turn on, you go, we go home. Back in the day, you have to go one more. Yeah. <laughs> they don't do that anymore. I, I'm fine with that. So I'm playing the game. I go, yeah, they, but I can, I can see the lights aren't on, so they're going to come out for one more. Not only do they come out for one more, Lady Gaga comes out with the Rolling Stones. <laughs> I mean, all timer performance. Yes. All timer yeah. performance. Uh, everybody, Keith was on fire, literally. Someone lit him on fire. He, was like, he just played so He was awesome. Ronnie Wood and Gaga just went for it. Rock and roll. It was unbelievable. All the new songs they played, it's great. Anyways, Hackney Diamonds Yo. is out officially today. <laughs> on our show, he's one of the greatest guitarists of all time and one of the greatest bands of all time, the Rolling Stones. New album, Hackney Diamonds, is out now. He is here with us tonight. Keith Richards is on the show tonight. So that'll be fun. That'll be cool to see Keith. That'll be great. But we'll get to Keith. That was a walk by. Not now. <laughs> yeah. He will be on the show, but not, not yet. <laughs> How cool is that dude right there? He just goes, you know, walk out. He doesn't care. He's Keith Richards. He does what he wants. <laughs> Plus, they are Grammy-winning artists who have sold over 45 million albums combined. Their new album, Welcome to Collie Grove, comes out November 17th. Two Chains and Lil Wayne oh! are here tonight. We're going to talk to them. And then they're performing later in the show. Oh. It's a big show tonight. Two Chains and Lil Wayne. Guys, uh, today is, is Friday, and that's usually when I catch up on some personal stuff. I, I check my inbox. I, re I return some emails. And of course, I send out thank you notes. I like to write out thank you notes. <laughs> but we do. I'd like to write out some weekly thank you notes right now for you guys. Do you get mind if I write some out tonight? <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, James, can I get some thank you note writing music, please? Wow. I'm not in his wig. Yeah, he's in a good mood. Yeah. <laughs> I like his shirt. Yeah, it's classy. That was like, it was like a rust color? Yeah. Let's see it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
That's beautiful, man. He's called Mr. Autumn. Yeah. Mr. Autumn, they yeah. call him, yeah. That's right. His, his shirts change like the leaves. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Only once a year. Yeah. 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 That's the same shirt he wore. Same shirt he wore last <laughs> autumn. It just progressively from the gets fall filthy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Until it falls off. Yeah. And then that's he's what shirtless. He has to do. Yeah, and then he's shirtless. Get threadbare until it falls, and then, yeah. then we know the times have changed. You know what I mean? That's the only way I know that I'm alive. Yeah. Is to see him uh, change his clothes. It's beautiful to see it. James from the Roots right there. James, can I get some thank you note writing music? Here? Wow, he's like animatronic. Wow. He's like animatronic like he's in the Chuck E. Cheese band. <laughs> thank you, Hay Rides, for letting me know what Uber Pool would be like in 1835. You know? Hop on the back. Have a seat. Have a seat. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adirondack chairs, for looking like the skeleton of a lazy boy. Spooky. <laughs> Spooky. Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Space Bar, for being the man spreader of the keyboard. <laughs> Me. Me, 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 me. We got it. We got it. Gosh, sit normal, bud. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Las Vegas Aces owner Mark Davis, for ending the WNBA season with the bangs. <laughs> Come on. He did a good Come job. On. That's a good one. He That's did a cute. good job. Yeah. He did a great job. I thanked him. Very he ended with the bangs. Yeah. Thank you, accidentally breaking an olive oil bottle on the ground for making me go, you know what, let's just move. <laughs> yeah, clean this up. I'm not cleaning this up. Yeah, it's gonna take me four years to clean that up. I'm tiny slivers of glass let's, all day let's look long. At other, let's get on Zillow. <laughs> Thank you, jack-o'-lanterns, for showing me you don't need teeth to be happy. Oh. <laughs> oh, happy. Happy pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you, the Golden Bachelor. You may not win any Emmys, but you're definitely taking home some Grammys. Hey, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some thank you notes. We'll be right back with Keith Richards. 